Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm going to be talking about something pretty random and I'm probably just going to be ranting on for a bit. But I want to talk about the CMU emulator. And basically CMU are, they're a group of guys that are developing an emulator that emulates Wii U games. And a lot of people seem to have controversy about like, are emulators illegal? But emulators aren't illegal. It's the pirating of the software that runs on emulators that it's illegal. So... Yeah, let's just not talk about that side of it. So basically, these guys are doing a, an amazing job, basically, at making this emulator. And if you want to try it out for yourself, if you have a Wii U used, there actually are tools, and there's Reddit threads. All you need to do is just Google Reddit CMU, or, Reddit, or just Google CMU, and you should be able to find like all the information you need on how to, how to transfer your games from your Wii U to your PC, so you can play stuff on PC. Um, yeah, basically you want to download this, and if you want to support the CMU team, you can also become a patron over here on their page. The link is up here if you want to actually find it, and I'll probably link it down in the description as well. Right, so I'm just going to basically take a look at CMU and show you what you need to do when you first get it installed. So once you get it installed, it'll look, look exactly the same as this. This is version 1.7.3D. Um, I think version 1.7.4 is coming out on, I think, the 2nd of April and the 9th, maybe, for people who aren't um, a part of the Patreon uh, page. Um, that's basically a tier. You get you get uh, one week early access to like the newest builds, and that's that's how they they are they're funding basically the build. And it's a pretty cool way to fund it because I'd imagine it takes a lot of work to get this kind of thing to work, especially as quickly as these guys do. Um, so yeah, as soon as you install it, it's going to come up like this, and it's if you've used an emulator before, it looks basically the same. You have your file, your load, you have your video settings, your input settings, uh, CPU mode. Like basically, you want to just leave most of this stuff on like recommended. And for most games, I have found that if you just leave it on low and fast, it works perfect. Like, um, they also recently introduced, uh, well, not recently. It was a good while ago. Now they re introduced graphic packs, which like lets you like say, say I have Breath of the Wild on the Wii U, so it like allows me to upscale the render of it to 4K, 5K, or like if you have like if you don't have like the highest performing PC, you can run it at 360p or 540p or any of these. And these are just some games that I have for the Wii U that um that I've transferred over onto onto my PC, so I can play them when I'm not anywhere near my Wii U, because obviously my Wii U isn't as portable as my laptop. Um, so yeah, basically these are graphics packs. So what you're going to want to do anyway is you're going to want to set up your input settings anyway. It's very simple to do. All I have done anyway is I've selected the Wii U Pro Controller and you would basically just map the buttons. Now make sure that I use a PS4 pad, uh, the, PS, uh, the pad that came with my PS4 Pro basically, and you want to make sure that the A and B buttons, A is mapped to circle and B is mapped to X because um, a lot of Wii U games have like input um, prompts on screen and it's very confusing when it's like it tells you to press A and you could be used to uh, using an Xbox One controller and the A button is where the X button is on the PS4 button but the A button on a Wii U controller is where the circle or the B button is so make sure you get all that and probably just look up a, a Wii U layout a Wii U Pro Controller layout before you like set up your inputs but it's basically the same it's just that's that's L1 R1 L2 R2 I have that set up as the share button the options button then it's just left click up down left right right click up down left right and then your d-pad and then once you have all that input set in you just click save and the best thing about this is you can set up up to five controllers. I've only I've only used two, so we just set up one as the gamepad, the Wii U gamepad, because the PS4 pad actually has a little touchpad, and you can use it for aim on like bows and stuff. So I was just testing out that. But you can set up up to eight controllers, and it's pretty cool. It's um, it's a really cool way of um using your controllers. Um, I must also say that down here you'll see this is DS4 Windows. That's what I use to. That's what I use to sync my PS4 pad up with um, CMU. Um, then basically, that's there's like there's very little setup to be honest, and it's just it's it's just a point of how good these guys have done. And basically, you'll want to load your game, and this is my Zelda file that I'll be loading. You'll see. Um, 
you you'll you'll find shader caches and stuff on Reddit and stuff if you want to like do this. This is basically loading textures and stuff, I believe, and shader shader caches and stuff. So um as you play the game your shader cache will build and the game will run because I believe how the games work is as you run around your shader cache will build off stuff that loads in the environment. So yeah, I have, I don't know all the technical aspects of it, but that's basically how it works. Um, just going to load in and show you this is like the Breath of the Wild emulation that they have at the minute. Now, it's not perfect, and they have shown videos of 1.7.4, and it runs a lot better. Well, maybe not runs a lot better, but it certainly seems to look a lot better because at the minute in 1.7.3D, the, there's a lot of textures that are flickering, and AMD users aren't... Um, they aren't they aren't uh, running as well as they are in nvidia cards and stuff like that and intel integrated graphics and stuff doesn't work the best but um yeah we're just gonna load in and as you can see there like uh like the shaders basically load into your ram i believe that's how it works with cmu at the minute so um so yeah you'll, we'll see this number drop in a few minutes but we just want to keep an eye on the, the fps here at the minute We'll just wait for it to load in. It shouldn't take too long. It usually doesn't take very long. Yeah. As you can see, usually when it loads in, first of all, it's a bit um, it's a bit buggy, but it's also a new area that I haven't been to before. And you will see like that the, the frame rate will like as the shader cache builds, it will gradually like go up and up and up and your frame rate will get better once the area has loaded in you see like we're sitting around 30 fps but it's stuttery because you can see like these the shadows and stuff loading in there and have to load into the memory and um yeah but like it's basically payable at the minute um stuff like physics don't work like the the magnesis stuff doesn't work the bombs and stuff work but um you can't they don't really they don't really work too well but um yeah it's cool and if you want to check out the video basically you can just go to the cmu site that i'll have linked down in the description and you can check it out for yourself so cheers for watching the video guys like it if you liked it dislike it if you didn't and subscribe to the channel if you want to see future videos from me